Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. This week's channeled message is from Master El More, and it's entitled Three Ways to Accelerate Your Ascension This Year. The message is channeled through myself, Natalie Glasson, on the 5th of January 2018. Greetings, I am Master El More, the Shohan and Overseer of the First Ray of Light. It is my purpose to oversee and activate within others the Creator's qualities of wisdom, divine will, power, courage and action. It is my purpose to assist and encourage all to exist as the divine will of the Creator. In times of change, transformation and awakening, the first ray qualities are required to create inner stability, security and empowerment. With the first ray of light, you learn to once more understand the Creator and the presence of the Creator within your being and reality. Acknowledging the divine inspiration that flows from your being, the reason and purpose for your actions and the actions of others, as well as the greater picture of ascension for the earth and beyond. The first ray of light assists you in understanding how the divine will of the Creator moves through you, can be expressed through your actions, thoughts and emotions, as well as embodied, further grounding the divine will of the Creator into the earth. The first ray of light represented by a red colour encourages and enables you to move in harmony with the Creator, receiving the support of the Creator, as well as knowing yourself more fully. Your inner truth is activated, as is your inner power. These merge to awaken your entire being into a new level of spiritual awareness that influences your way of life and creations. You are encouraged to delve deeper into your being, to recognize what is aligned with your power and courage, and thus allows you to engage with these sacred qualities of your being. You will also be guided to ask what within you is aligned with the divine will of the Creator. This is the sacred plan for your existence. It incorporates your mission, the reason for your soul's existence on the earth, as well as your experience of fulfillment and ascension. When you realize within your being the thoughts, emotions, actions, reactions and creations which are aligned with your power, courage and the divine will, then you also realize what is not. You allow yourself to embark upon the journey of letting go of everything that disempowers you creates fear and distracts you from the presence of the Creator, communicating with you and guiding you forth. This transitional process is filled with such wonder, beauty and magic as you reveal to your conscious mind the eternal presence of the Creator within your being and navigating you through your reality. Number one, trust. Embodying the divine will of the Creator requires the activation of trust, especially in 
that which you cannot see. Embodying your inner power and courage requires you to trust in the love and compassion eternally present within your being. In truth, your goodness. Often people are fearful of their power because they or someone else has abused their power. Although they cannot remember the circumstances, the energy created remains. Trust is the energy that encourages you to fully embody and experience the sacred qualities of the Creator. And yet the quality of trust can be challenging to awaken. Often patterns of the mind and past experiences can create distrust, which means that you are unwilling to commit to the qualities of the Creator already present within your being. When you recognize within your being the thoughts, emotions, actions, reactions and creations which are aligned to your power, courage and divine will, as well as those that are not, you will allow your distrust to dissolve as you realize with deep knowingness the presence of the Creator within you. Calling upon the Creator to support you in your everyday life and ascension will nurture your inner trust as you will begin to recognize the support of the Creator manifesting all around you. Beloved Creator, please support me today in my reality, actions, creations and spiritual evolution. Open my eyes and all my senses so I may see and acknowledge your powerful, all-embracing, divine support within and around me. I am ready to receive your divine support in the most beautiful perfect way and accept manifestations in my life now. With deep gratitude and love, thank you. Number two, commitment. As you recognize the presence and support of the Creator filling your being and reality So you awaken a sacred energy within you of commitment. The Creator does not wish for you to make promises, vows or even to dedicate yourself to the Creator and all that is the Creator. Instead, when I, Master Amore, speak of commitment, I speak of the energy of loyalty to yourself and your spiritual evolution. I encourage you to ground yourself into your truth, into all that you recognize yourself to be, and all that you know and wish to be. My guidance is to inspire you to take responsibility for your own evolution. You are the only soul upon the earth that truly holds the answers you seek. They may not be the same answers that others seek. There may be others who come into your reality to awaken your inner knowingness. However, it is important to remember that you are the source of your own inner knowingness and remembrance. If you face challenges, feel lost, require guidance or healing, know that all you seek is within you. It is very easy to seek answers outside of yourself. This is natural and I encourage you to accept and observe yourself when these patterns arise. 
it is appropriate to accept help from outside of yourself as long as you hold on to your inner power. The key is to commit to yourself, to trust your abilities and to know that the Creator will move through you, demonstrating, sharing and revealing all that you require. With this inner knowingness, you will build a strong bond with your inner energies. Your intuition will blossom and your expression of the Creator awaken. Allow yourself to ask within these questions to bring realization to your being. At what percentage am I committed to my spiritual evolution? At what percentage am I committed to my physical reality? At what percentage am I committed to my inner truth, essence and fulfillment? The word committed can also be changed to trust or faith. In truth, you are asking yourself, how much do you believe in your spiritual reality? How much are you ready to engage fully with your physical reality? And how much do you have faith in the presence of the Creator within you? These questions may bring new insights and understandings to your awareness, as well as alert you to healing that is required to align your being and awareness fully to the Creator. I, Master Amore, encourage you to take time to contemplate certain situations, goals and dreams that are manifesting now or you wish to manifest, inviting yourself to acknowledge if you are fully committed. Do you believe, have faith and trust? This will bring forth deeper enlightenment and connection with your inner essence. I must tell more I encourage you to contemplate what commitment really means to you. Remember it is a feeling of grounding and knowingness within you. What does this feel like and manifest within your being and reality? Number three expression. I have spoken of many beautiful energies, creator qualities and experiences, such as your power, courage, divine will, creator's support, trust and commitment. All empower, ground and encourage you to embody your essence and truth as an expression of the Creator. There is one more pathway I wish to guide you to focus upon. This is the pathway of expression. You have reached a pinnacle point in your spiritual evolution. You are ready to express the Creator through all aspects of your being. You are ready to be creative, to inspire others, to be of service and to no longer hide your inner truth. It is time to be an expression and an expressive beacon of all that is the Creator. There are no rules. Simply focus on the love, peace and truth within you and you will be guided in every moment of your reality to express the Creator in ways that fulfill you and all. Therefore, I, Master El More, believe that it is important to connect with the first ray of light. The energies downloaded into your being will activate your inner qualities of wisdom, divine will, power, courage, action, thus supporting you in trusting 
committing and expressing all that is the Creator. I am present with you to empower your truth and encourage all to exist as the divine will of the Creator. Master El Moray.